The New York Institute of Technology is taking part in a federally funded program to help expand the use of alternative energy and solar power. And one big part of the program is testing the use of solar power to help recharge hybrid cars. Daniil Clark reports. This hybrid car is different from many hybrid cars, which recharge their electric power using the energy generated by the gasoline power. This car goes even a step uh, further. This is a plug-in now, so it can be plugged into your ordinary 110 volt um, outlet at, ho at home. It's made possible by adding this 5 kilowatt battery to the other traditional hybrid features. The vehicle is part of an ongoing research project at the New York Institute of Technology on Long Island in an effort to create a greener campus. According to Ben Hazel, this car significantly reduces costs, carbon emissions, and the need to import foreign oil. Very soon, he says, the Federal Energy Department funded project will also include a more energy efficient means of charging these cars using the sun. Not only is a, a electric electrification of transportation uh, reasonable and rational, but that uh, why not uh, uh, utilize renewable energy, in this case solar energy, for that charging. Van Hazel says solar powered charging ports to charge plug-in hybrids similar to this one will soon be in NYIT parking lots. Of course, these cars aren't perfect. He says they too have their limitations. How many miles can you actually drive on an electric charge? Ben Hazel says he's gotten over 100 miles per gallon, but he says the best results are often achieved at lower speeds and that that too is still being studied. One of the goals, he says, is to create solar-powered chargers sufficient to charge each car for a whole commute. For instance, someone went to the city and left their car all day long at the Hicksville train station and they commuted and uh, why not come back and your car is fully charged again and you just drive home. The research team at NYIT is working towards making cars like these, along with solar chargers, part of the future for a greener environment. In Old Westbury, Daniil Clark, LI News Tonight.